In this tutorial, we're going to use Audacity to decode a middle and side recording. A middle and side recording is a special kind of stereo recording made with two microphones, uh, one cardioid pointing forwards, uh, which is the middle microphone, uh, and one figure of eight microphone angled at 90 degrees, which is the sides. What you get is uh, a two-channel recording uh, with the mid microphone on one channel uh, and the sides microphone uh, on the other. Now, uh, if we just play that recording back without doing anything to it, uh, we won't get proper stereo imaging. But by processing the recording in a particular way before we play it back, we can obtain a recording with uh, stereo imaging that we can adjust after having made the recording. In summary, what we need to do is uh, firstly separate out the mid and side channels, make two copies of the side channel and invert the phase of one of those copies and then pan the two copies of the side channel hard left and hard right. So uh, we'll end up with a mono mid channel and uh, two copies of the sides track. Uh, those can then be mixed together to adjust the overall stereo imaging of the recording. When you make a middle and side recording, it's obviously important to make a note of which way round the channels are. Uh, I've got my uh, mid-side recording of a choir here, uh, and the mid-channel uh, is on channel 1, and the side is on channel 2. I've already trimmed the start and the end of the recording and normalised it to minus 3 dB. Now, as far as Audacity is concerned, uh, this is just a normal stereo file. So when I played it back there, uh, what we could hear was the mid microphone being played from the left channel and the sides microphone being played from the right channel. Uh, but it doesn't actually work like that. So what we were hearing uh, was actually just mono. Um, in order to do the necessary processing, uh, I need to deal with the two channels separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, from this little drop-down menu here on the track, choose Split Stereo Track. And uh, you'll notice that this uh, gives me the mid and side uh, channels as two mono tracks. Next, notice here that Audacity assumes that a stereo file is left and right. So it still thinks that this mid track is the left channel. Uh, I'm going to change that in the same menu to mono so that Audacity will play this track back over both loudspeakers or headphone channels and not just the left channel. At this point, I'm going to rename these two tracks so that I don't get confused between them. Uh, from the same menu, choose Name, and I'm going to call this one Middle, and this one Sides. I now need to make uh, two copies of the Sides channel. Uh, I'm going to select the entire sides track uh, by clicking in the track info uh, and then from the edit menu choose duplicate. So now I have two exact duplicates of the sides track. Uh, now I need to invert the phase of one of those. So again uh, I'm going to select nothing by clicking in an empty space, select the copy of the sides uh, track by clicking here uh, and then from the uh, effect menu choose invert and you'll notice when I do this that the uh, shape of the waveform inverts. Next I'm going to assign one of those tracks as left from the same menu uh, that we used before, choose left channel uh, and the other track I'm going to assign as the right channel. Notice uh, I chose the right channel as the one with the inverted phase. 
Uh, that's because when I made the recording, I had the positive side of the figure of eight microphone pointing towards the left, and anything coming from the right would therefore have had inverse phase. If you did it the other way round, uh, you'd want to assign the left uh, to the inverted track in Audacity. If you get it wrong, uh, it's not the end of the world. Your stereo image would just be inverted with the left channel on the right and the right on the left. Uh, and you could easily rectify that later. So what I have now is two copies of the sides track, one assigned left, uh, the other phase inverted and assigned right. What I'm going to do now is select both of those tracks by clicking on one of them, then holding down the shift key and clicking on the other. Uh, make sure that you have both tracks selected like so, uh, and then from the track menu I'm going to choose this option here, Make Stereo Track. What I now have is a mono middle track and a sides track, uh, which has two channels, but they're just two copies of the same thing, uh, one phase inverted. So that's, uh, in essence, a mono track as well. So uh, if I play back either of these uh, by soloing the tracks, uh, what I'm going to hear is a mono recording. And uh, the sides track would have sounded particularly strange uh, there because the channels are out of phase with each other and are therefore uh, theoretically cancelling each other out if you were to play them back through the same loudspeaker. However, uh, something very interesting happens when we play these two tracks back together. Uh, I'm going to begin by turning the sides track right the way down. So uh, when I play this back, we will just hear the mono middle channel. Uh, as I increase the level of the sides track, which I'll do in a moment, uh, what we'll find is that because of the phase cancellation between this uh, microphone and these two uh, phase inverted copies, uh, I can adjust the width of the stereo image. Now the reason that works is because of phase cancellation, because the middle and side microphones were in the same place, exactly the same place when we made the recording. Of course, if you didn't position the microphones carefully enough, uh, that effect won't work. For the final stage, I need to set the balance between the middle and side tracks the way I want, and then mix the three channels into a normal stereo file. When you're setting the balance, remember uh, that you're mixing multiple tracks together, uh, so keep an eye on the VU meters here uh, and make sure that you don't cause any clipping. Let's assume I've spent some time setting the balance uh, and that I'm happy with the way it sounds. So now uh, I'm going to select both tracks by shift-clicking, making sure that I have both tracks selected. And then from the project menu, choose the Quick Mix option. What I have now is a normal stereo recording with a left channel on the left and a right channel on the right. And I can now carry on editing that exactly as I would a normal stereo file.